Hello and welcome to another episode of Waffle TV, sponsored by Boomers. I'm here with the presenters, because um, we know that's the video we've all been asking for. Mm-hmm. Um, and we want to just chat a little bit about the shows we've seen at the Fringe. Then we want to take us off. What show would you, have you seen that you'd recommend to the viewers, viewer? I think Pick of the Fringe is train spotting. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Why? I love you, my response. I think we've all seen it, haven't we? Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. I think it's, it's genuinely unlike anything else I've ever seen. And hopefully won't ever see again because you can really only see it once without, you know, getting upset. Why yeah. why is it why is it different from anything you've ever seen? I know it's I've been interviewed in Trace Button guys, you can catch yeah, that video, but, exactly. what, but from an audience point of view, what is it that's it's different? just it, it kinda of pushes you as as an audience member, I think it pushes you to that kind of limit that you get really out of your comfort zone. There's no comfort zone there for you. But I the thing that I think surprises me is just how well people take it do you know what i mean okay they're just like yeah okay there's a guy's balls in my face i'm wow. fine with that that should be that should be in the poster i know <laughs> if you like balls in your face come and see train body um and obviously like the you know the whole message of train spotting is, is fantastic and it's funny because they really get that nice balance between the comedy and the really horrifying stuff really nicely i think and it's immersive yeah. as well so you're yeah. actually sort of in the performance, exactly. which is, makes it different just from, from the get-go. Yeah, they don't they don't treat each other nicely. No. <laughs> and that's the age. Um, yeah, it's just it's definitely unlike anything else I've ever seen, and obviously from the company in your face, I think it's the best thing that they've they've yeah. done. Because um, obviously, I think did you see did you see Tenet and Vinish more yeah. last year? Really good, but it was just all about the blood and. That was that. Do you know what I mean? I think this. Though. Yeah. I was really sad when we got rid of the blood and made it like water or something the second time I saw it. Because the first time I saw it, they literally give you ponchos and like sunglasses yeah. and you get drenched. drenched. I've still got boots Incredible. that have like blood stains yeah. on them. It's hilarious. Wow. So good fun, that was really good too. Yeah, yeah, it was really good too. So, train spotting. You. Train spotting's yours. That's it. That's mine. That's your thing. See nothing else. Lucinda. Puddles Pity Party. <laughs> wow. I love Puddles. Even though it's probably the hardest interview I've ever done in my life <laughs> because he doesn't speak. But, uh, no, it's hilarious. He's got an amazing voice. He's really good at comedy. Like, there's so much audience participation. There's like 20 people that got up into the show. Um, it's just funny. It's laid back. It's kind of get a bit drunk and have a bit of a laugh. He like made one guy get up on stage and sing karaoke by himself. Like they wow. got like karaoke screwed up, but he like went for it. Like all the audience members like went for it so hardcore. It's so That's good. So good. And Lauren, what's your pick of the thing? Can I just say you're a better presenter at me, and it's making me look really bad. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, to answer your question, <laughs> <laughs> we didn't interview her, which has really upset me, but I really loved Felicity Ward this year, her stand-up show. Wow. Um, oh my god, I forgot the names of it. How embarrassing. It was like, Where's the Toilet or something? And it was about IBS and her depression. And when I first went in, I was like, mm. <laughs> 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 like what is this going to be about? But it was actually one of the most moving shows I've ever seen. Oh, wow. Was it like... Obviously, she's a stand-up. Was it? It was just a stand-up. Was that a stand-up set or was it like theatre? She had like a big toilet in the middle of it, and she had like loads of rolls of toilet paper. But the best bit was um, she kept going on about a way to combat her depression was looking at bunnies with backpacks on them on the internet. Oh. <laughs> and I like, and I like looked up a photo and sent it to her on Twitter, and I was like, "Thank you for showing me this. You've changed my life." <laughs> Did she tweet you back? Yeah, yeah. She oh, retweeted so cool. it and said that she's starting like a bunny revolution. So I was like. Wow. That's awesome. Get involved in the bunny, bunny revolution. Yeah. Bunny's so cute. So, bunny's so basically we all like shows that have toilets in them. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but puddles, you know. Puddles didn't have a toilet. I was puddles. very disappointed. It's the one thing that's missing from the show is the yeah. toilet. Should we say shows that are bad? <laughs> no. No, we can't do that. Because <laughs> there's no like shows that are bad on, on Waffle TV. Everyone's um, no. 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 We're friendly here. We support the arts. No, we don't. How about you? My show, uh, I went, it's not my show. Um, yes, my show is my <laughs> favourite. My favourite. <laughs> my favourite. Um, it's a show called Wendy Hoos by Johnny McKnight and it's 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 hilarious, it's really funny, it challenges your kind of perceptions. Um, it's, it's about, uh, we did an interview with them, I think it's it's gone up now, mm-hmm. but it's about um, uh, an on- online dating. Uh, these, this couple up on, online and kind of he comes around to the house to, to get his leg over and he, he discovers that the the girl that has no legs and it's just super funny 
and it's so on PC. Like over, I like it. And it's, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's the that's that's. I know Johnny said that in the interview. It was like, what do you do in a situation where? You want to get your leg over, but you've not got any legs. I'm like, yeah. that's a great it's, it's, <laughs> yeah. it's, it's so, but it's so funny. It's such yeah. a, it's it's maybe one of the 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 sort of the most fun I've had sitting in a theatre for a while, mm. and it's just like I'd recommend every, everybody anybody can go and see it. It's, I think it's on Assembly, yeah. George Street, at half Assembly three. Rooms, yeah, yeah, Assembly Rooms, George Street. It's, it's just it's just super funny, and it's it's kind of it's got a little bit of heart and stuff like that. Yeah. I mean, you can watch the interview with Johnny he can, and, and and Robert, um, the director. You get so. a vibe from them of what the show. Yeah, it's very Scottish, like. which is which is great. It's like very Scottish, you know, it's that that uh-huh. kind of language. If you're if you're if you, you're Scottish, then you're gonna you, you should you should love it. Yeah, how funny are tourists seeing Scottish shows like a train spotting? There were so many. <gasps> I know. The tourist faces were so funny. There was like, what <laughs> they just don't expect it. They just don't expect it. It's great fun. It's I think it's. Moment. I just love Scottish theatre. Yeah. Just for the language. I've seen some really yeah, good like shows. professional plays. Um, as in like ones that have toured or things like that before. Mm. I always feel a bit it's like cheating. The yeah, fringe, I know what you mean. I mean. Yeah, it's, it's nice to have like there's a lot of like new writing this year as well, mm. and like a lot more original mm. pieces. People are kind of sort of trying to make it a bit more diverse. Like yeah. some of the like storylines of some of the plays are just like crazy, mm. like Tinder dates in Pakistan. Lots and, like, of <laughs> there. There's a lot of Tinder. T- that's when is this? When is this? Yeah. 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 Tin- Tinder. Yeah. Then, like there's a Tinder at the fringe section. Yeah, exactly. Oh, we should have done. Waffle Tinder. Waffle, waffle Tinder. Waffle TV on Tinder. Oh. <laughs> late night waffle. And there's loads late of, um, waffle after dark. <laughs> <laughs> there's loads of uh, clown clowns and like proper yeah, clowns. Yeah, there's like, a lot more clowns this year. Because um, obviously well, we've got the, the circus thing. Those clowns. Really good. Mm-hmm. You know, it's the two girls. Mm-hmm. They were really, really good. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They are committed. I mean, I was even before the interview and everything, they were still in character. Yeah. I talked to them at Meet the Media, yeah. and they were sitting on each other on the chair, and then when we were done having our conversation, one of them started trying to do like a back grab yeah. off the chair, and it took them about three minutes just to leave, which I thought was hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> it's interesting, it's just because there, there seems to be so much more compared to like BBC, which is always a little bit... Um, some really good stuff. Yeah, like, it's really yeah. interesting. I love really top notch ones. Yeah. yeah, it's been a good. We've had a, a lot. Of, we've had a lot of variety as well in the videos. Yeah, oh, yeah. Which has been awesome. And you know, like I think if you're wanting to to check out um, any shows, just have a look, a little have watch a of the like, videos that we've done. Doing? We've done a lot. I think we get some more coming up. We we yeah in the next week. Uh-huh. Um, so yeah. I think that's the, the, I think this is probably the point where, where, where a good presenter would wrap it up. Yeah. But I'm not a good yeah, presenter. Yeah, it's probably about time we wrap this up. So yeah, so uh, I guess thanks for watching Wolf TV and this thing. If you did make it through to the end of this thing, I'm not going to make it through to the end of this thing. Um, so th- thank you. Yeah, thanks for watching Wolf TV, and we'll hopefully see you again soon. Bye. Peace.